Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I thought we'd look at Bamboo Beauty because I really love this stamp set. It has the most beautiful fonts and sentiments. The bamboo that bends is stronger than the oak that breaks. A true friend is the one who holds your hand and touches your heart. You are so loved, grateful for all that you do, sending caring thoughts. And there's the two bamboo um, poles or stalks, stems, and you've got two leaves as well. And um, I've done one card traditionally with it. And I thought today we would do something a little bit different. And we're going to be using two colours, so pale papaya and pear pizzazz. We're going to be using a piece of Whisper White cardstock. So whatever your mat size is that you use, mine is five and a quarter inches by three and a half. And then a mat of pale papaya, which is a quarter of an inch bigger. So again, whatever will fit your standard card sizes. I don't do the sizes because... Um, different countries have different sizes. People use centimetres as well as inches and it's easier to just say whatever you use is your card blank. You can take it bigger, you can take it smaller. That's what I'm using. Um, we're also going to be using some card um, designer series paper. And the paper I'm using is this lovely new paper. I've only used a little bit of it. It's called Expressions in Ink and it has the most lovely, I will show you some of them, it has the most lovely papers which are, um, I'm actually going to do some wall art I think with some of them because you don't have to um, do anything apart from, if you look at this, you've got a 12 by 12 sheet with this gorgeous um, alcohol inked print on it and you know if you take that and you mount it and you just put maybe a few little butterflies put it in a 12 by 12 frame it's gorgeous other side is this lovely um, pink with gold in it you've got this one again I just absolutely love this you know frame that frame that in a 12 by 12 frame and you know just put a few little tiny little things coming up and you've got a beautiful piece of wall art you've got these lovely florals on the other side and that's got the gold on it you've got this one again 12 by 12 frame buy yourself a beautiful frame put that in it it will work on the wall just as it is because you've got this lovely sort of white space and again you can put a few little butterflies or something like that in it just gorgeous other side um green and mint macarons sort of marbles um this is another floral one which again has got the gold foiling in it and on the other side you've got this one without the gold you've got this beautiful one um, and as I say the gold on it it's just stunning other side you've got these pretty flowers um, that's the same as that one and then that's the same as this one that we've already done with the green yes and then we've got this one which has got the pale papaya flowers and in the center of these ones again you can see hopefully the gold and little gold speckles and on the other side you've got another sort of vibrant green um, I think that's probably pear pizzazz and then you've got two golds which I think I'm probably going to save for Christmassy ones on the other side of that you've got some more pale papaya but it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so what I've done is I've taken one of the 12 by 12 and I've just cut a two inch strip off the side and cut those in three inch strips so we've got a piece which is three inches by two inches, which means I can make four cards out of them. And I shall show you the pieces that I've got. So I've got one there 
and okay so that's going to be our the strip and it gives you four so they're three inches by two inches which as you know I really like to put in the center and I've just picked one up completely at random because it doesn't matter what it is and that is going to sit perfectly in on the center so I can choose ones that have got more of a pattern or less of a pattern so that's got a little bit more of the um, the white space um, this one is in fact I might use this one that's got uh, um, the flowers sort of coming at either side or that one maybe uh, now I'm going to use this one I'm going to be doing cards with the other three um, but I'll be doing something different during the week. So that is going to sit in the centre like that. And um, so to start off with, I've taken that because that's my idea. I've got the pale papaya, which is the colour here, which will coordinate. And then I've taken from the dye set, which we've had around from last annual catalogue, which is the painted labels. And I've taken this little die, which I really like the shape of it. And I've cut the sentiment, sending or stamp, sending caring thoughts and just put that in the centre. So that is our sort of base that I'm working with. But we're going to take these pieces off and we are going to do something with the Bamboo Beauty to give a background for this and to sort of add some layers and things so I love this really beautiful stem on here so let me take this one out again as I've said it's when you get the stamp out it's sometimes difficult to see which way up but if you look at it you can see you've got this little piece which comes at the bottom and the fatter piece that comes at the top so that's what we're going to put and I think that that's that block is a bit small, isn't it? I need to get a slightly larger block for that. So let me see. It's the bigger rectangular one. I couldn't remember which one it was. And it's actually bigger than you'd imagine. So we're going to take this one. And I might use that one for something else while I've got it out. So we're going to put this in on the centre like this. And that's going to be stamped in the pear pizzazz. And I know it's the pear pizzazz because I've looked on the back of the um, designer series paper. And it's very easy to see all the colours that are used. So I'm going to use this. And again, because it's large, I take it onto the landscape side so I can pick it up. And I'm just going to put the bamboo down like that which is just I, I love it I really do I think it's beautiful um, and then I'm going to go back to putting my okay so I want some more of these across the um, the page so let's take the smaller one and we're going to do exactly the same thing and again I'm looking at the picture to see on this one it bends in this direction okay so I need to make sure that it's going to come down I'm going to keep my pale papaya out and I might use this one again I haven't really thought about it but I'm going to take just clean this off for now and then we can take that one off. This is going to come on here. I can pick it straight up so I know that it's coming in the direction that I want it to. Let me ink this one up again. Like that. And then this one is going to come in. Whoops, got that one stuck there. Let me take my simply chamois out of the way just want to make sure that I've got that inked up there you can always see from your stamps where you've inked and where you haven't and then I'm going to put this other one next to it and again I'm turning it round because I find it easier for me to come onto this side 
and put it down. So we've now got the smaller one. And then I'm going to go back to... Now I could, if I wanted to, I could space it and do them um, without taking them off each time. But for me, I want to make sure that I've got them where I want. So we've got that little piece at the bottom, that piece at the top. And I'm going to take this one and bring that across. Like that. I do love these. I think they are so pretty. I love bamboo. And I like the way that this stamp is just... You've got so many different tones and things on it. It's absolutely beautiful. So making sure I pick it the right way up. So you've got that bend on it which is rather nice and then we're going to do this one on here like this and then I think we should be able to get one more of the thicker one in on the back here so let's just pick that one up make sure that we've got thin at the bottom thick at the top so we don't want to change it around now ink this one up and we'll put this one down in on the end like this there we go so we've got the bamboo coming right the way across and then I want to be a little bit clever with where I'm going to place my branches so let me just take the um we were using this one weren't we so i'm going to put it together to see how it's balancing so we'll put this in on the top so we've got just the two colors going on we've got this coming in on the center which i think is lovely We've got this piece then coming down in on here. And then I want the leaves to just come up. And I think we've got a large leaf and a small leaf. So let's have a look and see size wise on these two. And this one is like that. That size. That one's a bit big. So I think I'm just going to use the smaller one. And I need a slightly smaller block. So let me just get out. Oh, here we go. Mm, is that going to be big enough or not? Yes, it is. It's going to be fine because I don't need the tail of it on because that's not going to show because that's going to go in underneath. So I need to put these to come up in between. So let's take these off. I want these... bamboo um, the leaves and again it's abstract so we've got the green which is the pear pizzazz and I'm going to put these in just in on the top like this like that turn it round the other way And just put those in between because the idea is that it will give a rather lovely abstract pattern that will come through in on the center now that will work perfectly let's take this and put this on here like that so we've got this lovely colour in here. Now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to mat that because it's not, um, it doesn't give enough of a colourway. So I'm going to have to take um, just a mat through on here to just bring it out just a little bit that will just add that colour in. So um, we've got our sentiment coming down on here 
I could actually put the sentiment there. That'll cover up that one. And maybe if I move this across just a tad that way, that's better. Because what I don't want to do is, if you've noticed, that little tail there and that little tail there, I don't want them. So if I move that across just a bit to there, and I put this that way, because that will balance that, then we've got that coming through on there. Now, what I need to do, though, is, is to just mat that paper, because that's just a little bit too big. So let me just grab a piece of the... Right, I've grabbed myself a piece of the um, pale papaya. And when I first um, look at a colour, so we've got these new in colours that come in. So when I first have a look at the new in colours, I won't get a complete sheet of um, a complete pack of each individual colour. I get what they call a mixed pack. And the mix pack gives you four sheets of each one of the colours. It then allows you to play around with them a little bit and go, oh, yes, I really like that or I don't like that so much. And then you can buy the whole pack. So a little tip for you, get yourself a mixed pack first instead of a whole pack. So we know that this is three inches by two inches. So let's do this at three and well we want it on the small side let's do it on the small side so we're not using as much so two inches we'll have it two and a quarter inches for the mat because I like all my mats to be quarter of an inch so we'll just take that that's the quarter of an inch and then by three inches we'll have that a quarter of an inch bigger so we'll have that three and a quarter so that then gives us, and I've got another bit to do any of the other mats. So that gives us the mat on there because we want to have this just a little bit with just the little bit of mat on. So if that goes in on there, you could do it an eighth of an inch if you wanted to. I'm very much a quarter of an inch. So if we put this on here, so that comes in there. We've got this lovely pattern of the abstract florals. We can put this one down here in the bottom. Like that. And then you've got your completed card using the different colours and textures and running through. Now, if you wanted, I'm just thinking of carrying on some of those little speckles in gold. Now, there's a stamp set that's got some speckles in. Let me just have a little look and see if I can remember which one had the speckles in. And I think it's Quiet Meadow. Yes, it is. So, Quiet Meadow has got these lovely speckles in. So, what we can do is... Um, and I'm probably not going to do them now, but where the gold speckles are on here, I am going to put some gold speckles in on here. So what I'll do is I'll put them with um, Versamark and then just add some gold in on there. So all I've got to do is to stamp this with the Versamark. So the little speckles from Quiet Meadow. And then that will give me the lovely sort of speckled part as well so you've got flowers you've got leaves you've got different things we've mixed and matched a bit but we've used the bamboo beauty again for something that's just a little bit different so i hope you enjoyed that as always please stay safe and well please be kind and look forward to seeing you again soon Bye bye